In this video we're going to be making this laser effects on a piece of text in Adobe Photoshop. To get started I'm going to pop into Photoshop and make ourselves a new document. I'm going to change the width to a thousand pixels and the height to about 800 pixels. Everything else will stay the same. I'll click on OK. First thing we need to do is change our background color. So grab your paint bucket tool, select black from your color box and make your background black for me. Now we're going to grab our text tool here and change the color to white. And I want you to choose a skinny font like Arial. Um, you can scroll through the list and find a more fancy font if you want. As long as it's a thin font, I'm going to be happy. I might go along with Tunga. That looks a bit like Arial. And we're going to click on the page here and I'm just going to write the word laser. You can make that a little bit bigger if you would like to fill up the page a bit more. So I might bump mine up to 200 point. Doesn't take up too much room, but it's a decent size. After we've written whatever word we want to write there, we're going to right click on that laser layer now, so the text layer, and just duplicate it. I'm just going to leave it as layer copy as the name. I'm going to go back to my original text layer here, which was just called laser. And I'm going to apply some filters to this text. Okay, the first thing I want to do is go up to the filter menu, head on down to stylize and choose the wind filter. Okay. When this box comes up saying you need to rasterize the text just click on OK, that's fine. And what I want you to make sure is that the wind is coming from the right. When you click on OK you get a little bit of a wind effect. Probably not big enough though for it to look any good so what we're going to do Let's go back to filter and Photoshop remembers the last filter you applied to your text so all you have to do is click on wind up the top here and it will apply that same effect once again. I might do it one more time. I think three times looks quite good so we're going to stick with that. Now what we're going to do this time is head back to the filter menu, go down to stylize and choose wind again so we can get the options box back up. This time I want the text coming from the uh, sorry the wind effect coming from the left, so it's going to blow the text back the other way. So I want to click on OK. You'll see that we're starting to get that same effect coming out to the right this time. If I go to filter and choose wind another two times, we've got that nice wind effect going both ways now. Okay, what we want to get it now to do is go up and down. So we're going to need to rotate our image. So I'm going to pop up to the image menu, go to image rotation, and just rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. Okay. Now we're going to go back and do that same wind effect on the left and right by going to the filter menu, stylize, wind, and we want to make sure it's coming from the right to begin with. And we'll go filter, wind, and filter, wind. Okay, so we've got it on that side looking good. Now let's go and make sure that we've got it coming at the right side of the text as well. So we'll go back to Stylize, choose Wind. This time from the Options box, make sure it's coming from the left. Click OK, select Wind, and select Wind. Okay. So that's looking pretty good now. I'm going to rotate the image now back to the way we had it. So I'll just go to Image, Image Rotation, and swing it back 90 degrees counterclockwise. And from here, the last thing we need to do is put a bit of color into this text. Okay, so we're going to go over to this original layer, which is the laser text layer. Right click on it and choose blending options. All we need to do is put a color overlay onto our text and you can see how good it's starting to look. You can choose any color. I think the fluoro colors are going to look best for this. Okay, so just scroll through, You've got pinks, blues, greens, yellows, they all look pretty good. Okay, I'm just going to stick with my red text for now, so I'll click on OK. We don't need to touch anything else, so click on OK again. And that's it. Okay, what we've got is, on the top layer, that laser copy. So the text that we wrote out to begin with, with the white letters, that's that top layer. Okay, so if I make it visible and invisible, that's what's making the text work. And below it is that effect. Okay, we've got the same text below it, but it's got that wind effect on it. Okay, so that's how the layers come in handy to make this laser effect work very nicely. When you're done, go to your file menu, save for web, and make sure you save it as a JPEG.
at a very high or high quality. That's it.